Hello everyone in Magic the Gathering land. Here for another opening for you. Let's see what we got in the mail today. A whole bunch of magic cards that I'd actually like to play. What am I doing with investing? I get everything at half price. So if I get it, I buy it. Usually I get a bunch of cards I don't care about today. We got some great stuff coming in. Can we focus camera? We got a death render for you. Great combo card. I forgot that these are worth. I don't have an invoice for this, but again, I just check what everything's worth on a little magic stock site. And if I get stuff at half price or less, I go for it. I got a whole bunch of stuff from this guy. Great cards. What's cool about this is there's a bunch of stuff I actually want to play. Quick creature gets plus two, plus two. Whenever a creature dies, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield and attach Death Ringer to it. This is a really great combo piece. I forgot which card it goes with. But this went up recently because it combos with this artifact thing with Throthers. We got a Cage Sun. Cage Sun enters the battlefield, chosen color. Creatures of the chosen color that you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a land adds one mana of the chosen color, you add another mana of that color to your mana pool. Awesome card. Awesome card. What else we got going on in here? Got a bunch of sweet cards from this guy. We got... Ruby Medallion. Red spells cost one last cast. I love all the medallion cards from Tempest. Brought them back in some of the commander sets. Grim Grimoire of the Dead. When in tap, discard a card, put a study counter, remove three study counters and tap, sacrifice it, put all creature cards from graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Ooh, there are black zombies in addition. Very cool card. Very cool random card. Like that. I like this lot that I picked up. It's a bunch of stuff that I actually want to play with and have some fun with. Solemn Simulacrum. Hope I said that right. Artifact creature for four. When he enters the battlefield, you may search your land for library for a basic land. Put that onto the battlefield tap. Shuffle your library. When he dies, you draw a card. Sick artifact. What it does for that low price. And another one. We got two of them. Sweet. What I'm psyched about this too is I would never buy these cards and I'd actually really like to use them. I'm psyched about making decks around these. The Dark Steel Plate. Three artifact equipment. It's indestructible. Your creature's indestructible. Equip it for two. Classic. Isotron Scepter. I hope they said that right. Imprint. It's a two artifact. When it's the battlefield, you may exile an instant card with converted mana cost to two or less from your hand. Two and tap. You may copy the exiled card. If you do, you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. This card is sick. This is one of my favorite cards in Magic. Very happy to have it. I think I have one other copy. I'd like to have about ten of these and make ten different commander decks with these and maybe regular modern decks. I love this card. The other one, yep, Dark Steel. What else we got going on in this package? Kun Taginyon Engine. I definitely didn't say that right. When Taginyon Engine enters the battlefield, put a plus one counter on each creature target player controls. Four and tap to proliferate and then proliferate again. Sick. Love that card. It's got a high mana, uh, casting cost, but it's still good. Skull Clamp, the classic, the legend, the one from Commander. Which commander is that? I don't know, it's okay. Anyway, equip creature gets plus one, minus one. Whenever equip creature dies, draw two cards, equip for one. Love this card. Wow, such cool synergy with one one creatures that come back. Anyway, duplicate. We got a six artifact imprint when it enters the battlefield. You may exile a target non token creature. As long as the exile card is a creature card, duplicate has cards power and toughness, and creature types is still a shapeshifter. Nice. What else we got? Eldrazi Monuments. Creatures you control have plus one, plus one, have flying and are indestructible. Beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature if you can't sacrifice Eldrazi Monument. Pumps up your creatures, you gotta sacrifice creatures. Very cool if you know how to work these cards. Oh, I'm trying to figure out decks I'm gonna play with these. I'm trying to figure out decks. Let me get comfortable. What else we got going on here? Trading Post. Nothing special. Four artifact. One tap, discard a card, you gain four life. One tap, pay one life, put a white goat. Uh-oh, why with the goats? One tap, sacrifice a creature, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. And one tap, sacrifice an artifact to draw a card. It's gotta be a way to make this work. Just kinda eh. Lightning Greaves, classic. Two equipment, equip creature has haste and shroud. Zero to equip, classic. Classic Lightning Greaves. Everyone's playing that. I don't have to tell you about Lightning Greaves. Thousand Year Elixir. 
You may activate abilities of creatures you control as though those creatures had haste. One in tap, untap target creature. Interesting. Gotta be a way to make that work. Here we go. Coalition Relic. Tap add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Tap to put a card cha charge counter on Coalition Relic. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from Coalition Relic. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool for each counter removed this way. Interesting mana ramp going on there. On the ramp, what else we got going? Another Lightning Greaves, classic. Another Lightning Greaves. We got triple Lightning Greaves. Oh yeah. We got a Cliff Top Retreat. Innistrad Dual Land enters the battlefield tap unless you control a mountain or plains. Love this. Great synergy with those uh, Guild Pack lands. Is it Guild Pack? Was that the name of the set? Anyway. Got Isolated Chapel, same thing. Black and White Dual Land. Comes in play tap unless you control a swamp or a plains. Love those cards. I've been wanting them. Wanting them so bad. Another one, I think we got four Isolated Chapels. Solum Simulacrum, another one, great card. Got a few left here. Oh, what do we got? Olivia Voldoran, Flying Vampire, great legendary. Ah, oh, awesome card, awesome card. What else we got? The music's over. Sigarda, Host of Herons, Flying Hexproof. It's a five drop, two green, two white, one green. Out of focus camera. That should just be auto focusing and it's not for some reason. Man, my camera focus game is off today. Why? Ah, here we go. What else we got going for you? Cliff top retreat again. Focus game way off. Cliff top retreat. What's annoying is it just doesn't stay in focus. It does auto focus and I just want it to stay. Ballistic Collar, Crypt Creature has Death Touch. So we got Mind Slaver, control your opponent. Very sweet. All these cards have price. Is that it? That's all the cards. Why am I investing in these crazy magic cards? Because I trust Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast more than the federal government printing money. So I want to get my money in commodities also. It's an incredibly fun game. You play magic, you know. We're all insane. What else I got going on? I love investing in stuff. Got some badass chairs. What you know about an Eames lounge chair chilling in? That's what I'd love to be investing in. We got a Krushenik on the table. Krushenik Chicago from 1973, I believe. Signed numbered edition, 54 of 200. What's the problem? This is chilling on my coffee table without a frame, looking beautiful, collecting dust. Oh, got this for 150 bucks. My buddy could flip this for 400 easily. He owns an art gallery. That's what he does. He got me into the whole art scene. This thing is beautiful. I just love looking at this. I'd rather be collecting these than magic cards. You know why I don't have them? Oh my god. The cost of framing this thing is more than the whole thing. You know why I bought these magic cards? I got them for half price. And they already got the nice little frames in them already. Already framed. Cage Sun already's got a cage in it. It's so nice. So protected. I could drop it. Doesn't matter. Dropping cards. I drop cards all day. Doesn't matter. Framed and protected. Love it. Anyway, everyone have a great day. What are you invested in? What are you spending your money on magic cards and other crazy stuff? Leave a comment below. Have a great day. Be well. Peace.